What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boys, April Fool's Pod. We are back at it again. Episode 98. 98. 98, bro. Coming in hot. Jeez. Coming in hot. So we will have a show next week, episode 99. And then 100 we'll have when I get back from Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so they'll I think be. we're going to do it a studio audience. Yeah, I think we're going to do a studio audience. We're going to have some of our peeps here. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. They said it was cool last week. Let's no. do it. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. That'd be sweet. Yeah, studio audience. We'll have some of our homies here. Maybe we'll like get them on for a little bit. Yeah. We'll, we'll do like, it'll be like a live pod. Yeah, kind of like a live pod. Super uh, excited. How do you guys like the polos? Check out these new polos. Check them out. Polos is dope, brothers. Polos is They're dope. They're fire, huh? <laughs> <laughs> golf tourney, bro. The golf, golf tourney was tourney. fire. We haven't even talked about it yet. We haven't talked about it. This, is, this episode, we're going to talk a lot about the golf tourney. It was so much fun. It was a success. We pulled it off. It was, dude, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. It was, it had me stressed for a little bit. It was, I was, I was pretty stressed out and. I don't even know what we even did. The last, it, it literally came down to the last, what, week and a half? Like the last yeah. 10 days probably? Yeah. And then everything came together. Yeah. Like we got the teams, we got a bunch of teams in in the, like the last 10 days, um, really filled out. And then we got, uh. Like the rest of our sponsorships, I don't know, bro. It was just a lot of stuff going on. It tied itself together, nice, yes, real nice, at definitely. The end. Yeah, and in the morning, the morning of there was a little bit of, uh, it was a little shaky. But last minute entries. Yeah, last minute entries people and were, random people stuff. Were late. <laughs> but it wasn't like no. It, it even the the guys at Paradise shout out. Yeah, shout, shout out them. Yeah, shout they, out them. They killed it. Jake and Jake and all those dudes. They they really killed it over there. They uh, they even said they were like, bro. If it's your a, first tourney, they're like nine out of ten. Yeah, they're like that's the, that's the worst clean. thing that happens this morning. Is yeah. a couple late teams and it, we did pretty. Yeah, pretty then we good. did pretty well. So I'll take it. All yeah, night. good laid out some good groundwork for next year. It was year. such a blast. Yeah, it was good. I'm glad we didn't play. We couldn't have. No way. There's no way we could have played, bro. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I'm like, yeah, there's no way we could play in that tourney. Maybe next year, instead of driving around, we set up at a hole. Just post up at just one. post up at one hole and just, just wrecked. Re- <laughs> just yeah. <laughs> wreck hole. Yeah, it was it was good. Shout out Candace for coming by, saying some nice words. Your dad, your dad said some good words. Yeah. Um, Shout out all the teams that came out and, and played. Yeah, dude. all you guys that came out, you guys killed it. We appreciate you guys for coming out. It was. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Um, it's for a good cause. Yeah, we we raised a bunch of money for charity um, for the Heart Gallery Foundation. We appreciate them, Candace, coming out and talking about it and giving you guys some info of what we were doing with it. So. It was. It went as good as possible. It I was think. perfect. It was so much fun. I it got a little uh, little cloudy during the. It did banquet. get a little cloudy <laughs> during the banquet, and we were sitting there trying to sell fifty fifties. <laughs> I, I was kind of stressed. Me too. I was sweating. My head's like, yeah. My head was hurting. Um, what, what I would, somebody was telling me they were like it, it was kind of a little anticlimactic. The end because we were just like first place this. I think next time we should read the scores and like the birdies. Yeah. They got. Hey, first one. No, Give ne- a break. Next year prices are going up exponentially. Double the price. Double. No, I'm just kidding. No, but, but yeah, we it was awesome. Yeah, I'm I excited so to do fun. it again. Definitely. Oh, breaking shit, huh? Fuck. Sorry. There you go. Tighten it. What? Right there. How many? How long? Ninety-eight episodes. And this still happens. What have we been doing for 100 episodes? Dude, 100 episodes. We, we, I feel like we need to do like a, we need to get like like a recap. Uh, like a. Uh, like we like just pull some of our like best clips. We should. And play those. Most of ours on fucking, uh, on Instagram are, go, are good. I, yeah. I go back. Yeah, I'll go back and look at some clips. Like stupid. our first, bro, if you like from our <laughs> first seven when we were just in the, <coughs> on the couch, on the yeah, casting couch. Fuck. Dude. Just to, in my room with a phone. Yeah. That was wild. It used to take us forever to do shit. It would take too. us like four hours to do one episode. Yeah. And we would upload it from our phone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was ridiculous. But we figured it out. Figured it out. Also, shout out Studio 519 for shout out the taking Studio care of the boys. About what, two years now here? Two years. Yeah. Is so. this your guys' favorite show to do or? Don't lie. Yeah, don't lie to us right now. Abso fucking lootly. Is it really? 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I heard 100% back there. I heard 100% there. back there as well. <laughs> April Fool's and the Don Schrader show. Don Ooh, Schrader. The, the naked guy that walks around town. Oh, really? Yeah. The, with the guy that has, like, with the leather with skin? With the leather skin, yeah. yeah. He's like a piece, Look a that. piece one. He's Two like longest running clock. shows at 519. His, yeah. His name's Don Schrader? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's pretty sick. Is he really homeless? I don't know. Is he really homeless? No, he, he rents out a room from his buddy. Oh. How do you know so much about this man? Because he's here all we've, the time. We've done his show for two years, too. Wait, he has a show? Yeah, hey, he does a show he here. Mean? Yeah. No, he yeah. <laughs> what is his show about? Hey, what? Like this? Yeah. yeah. You see that stage on the other side of you, brother? Yeah. Yeah, he does his show over there. Oh, my God. We got to have his ass on. Collab? No? I don't think we would, like... No? I don't think we have the same intentions. What, what are his intentions? What are, yeah, what's his show about? <laughs> All, all kinds of stuff. Is he funny? He, he's a super hippie, so think super hippie stuff. Interesting. He also drinks his own pee. No. All right, yeah. You're lying. Swear to God. Oh, get, my God. It makes come, sense. You can't come on our show. It makes sense. He drinks two glasses of his own pee every day. No, he does not. All right. No <laughs> way. <laughs> We're not lying to you. <laughs> that is horrible. Shout out Don Schrader with the straight. Uh, I mean, I guess that that, it, that it, warrants uh, a shout out. What's it? Uh, it's from Dodgeball. It's like, yeah. Do, should I drink my own piss? Probably not, but it, it tastes good, <laughs> <laughs> and I like. The, yeah, but I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you seen 127 hours? Yeah, but that guy's. Would, is, would you do it? Yeah. Right. Even, yeah, eventually you have to. Fuck. If you don't want to die. I don't. I think I would fucking die, just die. I'm also not chopping my arm off, probably. Dude. Oh, dude, that, I, I'll never watch that movie. And that's a one, one-timer. A one-timer? That you watch. Yeah. yeah. I don't need to watch. I don't need to watch that shit. Cutting your limbs? No. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on. Have you watched the Subway Guy thing? Is it a murder doc? It's, he's a fucking ped. Pedo? Pedo, dude. Pediophile? Pedia. What happens? Wikipedia file. Where, what do you mean? He's like a, a pedophile, bro. Where does he... It's on Hulu. Is it's it three episodes. It is disturbing as fuck. Is it like a docu-series, like an HBO thing, or is it like a, yeah. like a documentary? It's like a document. Well, not like a document. It's like it's a, a reenactment. No. Okay, so... They have a, actual, a like... They have actual, like, fucking... Okay, uh, I went to pull that up to show what pedophile. you guys are talking about. Jared Fogle. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gave me the it, it gave me the subway guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Jared, I got I you. The, oh wait, wait, wait. The subway guy. I thought you meant the guy that rides the subways, like in New York. No. Oh no, Jared from Subway. Yeah, Jared from Subway. That's why he's not the he's guy a, anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Straight. Like he's a bad guy. Oh yeah, dude. no, he's in jail. I think. Yeah, for I think he got like fifteen Fuck years. Him. I thought you were talking about like a guy that. He rides says the some crazy shit on that fucking show. Like, like crazy kids, yeah. Oh, yeah, but like way crazier than that, even, okay. bro. Like, it's it. creepy. So, as he's fuck. going straight to hell. Oh, straight to saying. jail, straight to hell. And it was a lie how he lost all that weight, too. So, I don't know. No, it was he fry. actually did he, did. he did a veggie in the morning and a oh no, a turkey sammy in the afternoon and a veggie before dinner. I don't believe dinner. him because he touches little 250 food. pounds. Fuck that guy. <laughs> he's a fucking fraud. I reckon. I could have sworn you were talking about a pedophile. That no, he definitely is a fucking fraud, bro. <laughs> fucking fuck that guy. I'll never, ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got off topic a little bit right so, okay, there. Okay, what topic were we on? We are on the golf turning topic. Golf turning topic. We actually have a video for you guys. Yeah. Kind of shows kind of what we did is put together pretty quick, but it gives you like a little. I actually just mm. found the uh, video with Jared that they did on uh, ID Discovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play it. Uh, you want it. that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah rip it. All right, it. hold up real quick. Let me make sure that he's got the audio. Dude, he's a bad person. He's the <laughs> worst of the fucking worst, bro. Like, he, like if there's a death penalty, that dude gets it. Oh, a thousand. He needs it. All right, all right. <laughs> he needs it. What a fucking dick, dude. I can't say shit. It's crazy. I could have sworn you were talking about a guy on a train. Like an actual like guy that goes on the subway. subway. No. I no. had this friend that Russell was very adamant about Jared meeting. She would have been 15 at the time. So me and my friend, we went to dinner with Jared. On the way up there, of course, Russell was hyping Jared up and, you know, making it seem like this was going to be a big deal. We got there, and it was just very casual. 
Jared really didn't open up too much. He was very selective about the things he would say and the moves he would make. It wasn't as exciting as Russell had made it out to be. After that dinner, you know, I started hearing more about Jared's interest in her. Jared would send Russell text messages. You know, he would make comments about her breasts, about her looks, and having sex with our friend. You think that was weird at the time? I just looked at it as they're just perverted. You know, you have that pervy uncle. Like, you're like, oh, I got a pervy uncle, you know? He's, but it was more than that. I had mentioned Jared's comments to my friend. She was very taken back by that. She got very uncomfortable very quickly, and she kind of questioned me about it, you know, and was, why is he saying these things about me? I instantly felt awkward and uncomfortable because it was like in that moment that I kind of started to realize that maybe something isn't right here. I Piece of shit, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah, that guy's going He's to such a bad... Yeah. And not everybody has a... Per yeah, not uncle. everybody has a pervy uncle as well. That's yeah, I have a, crazy. Like a, like a weird uncle who's kind of fun, who's funny, but not like... Yeah. I have, not Uncle Diddles. Yeah. You know? Dude. Uh, it's 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 very disturbing. Like if you watch it, be ready because it's fucking crazy. Yeah, I don't like those kind. Dude, I don't either. Like How to Catch a Predator with the what's yeah, yeah, Chris yeah. Hansen. Pretty much, that guy is he'd the predator. Like, he'd be like, is the predator of them all. Chris Hansen would be like, he'd be like, I'm of age. You try, you want to fuck me? <laughs> Dude, like, you like, you like, take me out to dinner. Dude. I'm of age. Yeah, that's the dark hearts, and they're going to hell. Straight to hell, there's yeah. No, uh, that guy deserves nothing but bad things. There's no uh, salvation for those who do that shit. Yeah, but Frauds. lighter Frauds. fucking Frauds. note. On a lighter note. Golf tourney was amazing. Golf tourney was amazing. We got these fresh uh, holos. From? From uh, Three Under. Three Under. Let's put a, uh, that's from the homie Richie Trujillo. He made these, he made us these. They were a hit. They um, Bro, everybody loved them. Everybody was like, where do I get one at? And, we, and you can get one right here. Yeah. Uh, if you want to put up the promo codes, it's APR3. For, APR3 for 10% for off any item on there. Or, or full 15. 15 for the collabs. For so the ones that are the April Fool's four, pod. There's four April Fool's pod collabs on there. You got two weeks. In, two weeks in, uh, in two weeks at midnight is the last day for these discounts. Yes. So get them all. They're hot. Ooh, look at that. Where's Ooh, I don't know where that camera's at. It's over here somewhere. But yeah. Um, and then we'll pull, throw up the website right here. I think it's uh, three dash under dot my Shopify dot com. Yeah, go hit it up. Not It'll Spotify. be it. It will be in the. Uh, we'll put it in the description below. Description below, so you guys can check it out there. Um, but yeah, let's play that. Vid. Let's play. Play that, the uh, vid. The golf tourney was so much fun. You guys are about to see. We had some crazy games, a bunch of random stuff going on. It was so much fun. It was good. It was a lot of a lot I of fun to see the recap. Yeah, let's see the recap. April Fool's Golf Tourney annual first ever right here in your face. First of on the screen. Right. April Fool's Pod first annual golf tournament. Let's go baby. We got a great turnout. Let's go. <laughs> High school, yeah, toss up. Power. After That's the tee shot, everyone throw the ball to oh, oh, on the green. Wait, what? After, yeah, <laughs> after the tee shot, tee it up, hit it, and then you have to throw the ball to get off the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually my no, best one. It. Yeah.
so they pull the card. After their tee shot, they have to throw it with their hand. Yeah, all the way to the green. All the way to the green, baby. This might, be, throw. This might be the funnest card yet. Come on, Marcus. Come on, Mark. There we go. Sam. Sam. Oh, oh, that's a sad. No, that's go. a good one. Go. That's a good one. And then one, no, more, one, more. one more throw. Awesome. One more throw onto the green. And then you putt. Two more. I can't believe we're in the best bunking round of our life. They give us this. Oh. One more throw onto the green and you <laughs> par. <laughs> hey, best ball, baby. Best ball. Best ball. <laughs> Just throw it as far as you can, Bob. I played catcher. There you go, oh, Bobby. Yeah. Wait, what happened? That's short. That's oh, short. Bob, you, you better chuck it. Too? You didn't pick it up. Why did it oh, it's over here. It's right there, Bob. Yeah, I'm yeah, running. Good running. Run up. <laughs> Gotta get it on the green, Bob. No, throw it hard. Oh, no, that's a good one. Go. You're on the green. Put it in, boys. Let's put it in. Oh, you're gonna have to. Hey, you're good. You can just put that fucker in. Oh my god. Okay. Get a good putt. Yeah, once it's on the green, they can putt. Oh, baby. There's one. There's one where it says you have to putt with your foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a good one though. The hockey one's good. You can just yeah, slide hockey it in. it in all the way. Too oh. hard. Too hard. Bobby had the best. Don't throw like a thing to blow it up like a fuck. Get in there. Oh. We got to set dropping dick on the G, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dropping that D on the G, daddy.
are going real slow on this out here going for it. We got about five miles an hour. We got two big, big hogs, big boys on here. This is about as fast as it goes. Yeah, that was great. It was a nice job, little, cool little vid, huh? That was. Dude, but we were messing people. We, we were wrecking people's teams. We were, so we were driving around, and we had this, like, deck of cards. You, you could see them pull them in the video, and there's, like, all kinds of cards, and they could do anything. Like, some of the team, like, one of the teams had to putt with a driver. Putt with a driver. Um, do a putt the, with, a, like, a pool yeah, cue. Yeah, like a pool cue. Um, your dad's team pulled all seven, so they could only hit a seven iron for the entire hole <laughs> and putt with it. Um, what else? What else was? What Is that there? pretty hard? Yeah. Oh, there's the putt with your foot one. You saw that on there. One of the cards was like. Um, a... You had to moan every time you hit yeah, the ball. Like, yeah. There's some funny ones. It was. We were. I'm glad everybody was good sports about it because I was. I figured it's, it's a the tournament. Shit. No, yeah. it was fun stuff. And everybody's getting it. Yeah. 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 Or like only you can only use odd number clubs. Yeah, odd number clubs. There was just there was one where it just like add two strokes just, just because, just cause. Just cause. <laughs> so it was just like. What was the uh, the sober Mesa team got a good one? I forgot what that one was. It was. Didn't like, they get a T, uh, red? Oh, they get T up every ball. Uh, every ball. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, they got a T up every ball. So there wasn't like there was a bunch of bad there ones, but few, there was also yeah. like far and few between good ones. Good ones, yeah. Like. One of them was like start a hundred hole a hundred yards out from the hole, and that's where your first shot starts at. So you're able to like tee off from there. Okay. So that was a good one. That is good. But yeah, there was a, there was a bunch. It was so much fun. Yeah, it was fun. We're I can't wait to do it again. Yeah. Bigger and better next year, guys. Bigger and better next year. So. Bigger and better at San Diego, of course. Somewhere, somewhere badass. We do Paradise again, actually. Yeah, it was fun. I had a blast. So no, no complaints for me. Yeah, shout out Paradise for just helping us with yeah. all that. Shout out Paradise. Shout out impressed. all of our sponsors. All the sponsors. You guys came in clutch as well. Yeah. Like that was awesome. Um, what else did we have there? We had a little putting contest with Gina. Oh yeah, and the putting contest. Jamie. Gina and Jamie were wrecking you guys yeah. during the putting contest. <laughs> but it was fun. I had a blast, bro. Shout out Marty and Own the Day and yeah. Sugar Sky. All those yeah. setting up their their vendors, vendor joints. It's yeah, awesome. It was awesome. I had I had so much fun. I hope all you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you thought. If you were at the tournament, let you know. Let us know what what position you came in. How did you do? I forgot who won. Yeah, I don't even remember who. Yeah, uh, Pedicos. Pedicos team won, but they're sandbaggies. Sandbaggies. Are you sure? I thought it was the X Lee or the Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy. Oh, that's, that's them. A, uh, Pe Sorry. Pedicos team. But yeah, they uh, they killed it. They won, but they're like. They're really good. They play oh, really? from the tips, usually. Uh, so we everybody played from the whites, and they play from like the farther back ones uh, when they go play. That's right. They're really good. And they still won. Yeah. Damn. They yeah, still won. Good. But yeah, we we gave out first, seventh, and twenty first, which was cool. Sherbert's guys still won. I thought they were going to be the overall winners. Oh, they, they were their team was high. good. Yeah, they took seventh. Um, but there was a bunch of teams that played really good golf. Uh -huh. I don't know how truthful they were. A lot of teams that also played really bad golf. And then there was teams that played really <laughs> bad golf as well. But it was exactly what we wanted. Just go out there, have fun, party with the boys, party with your friends for a good cause. Like, that's all it was about. So it was, it was fun. It was a success. Yeah, success for sure. Golf season is in full swing right now. So make sure you guys get your go get April your, Fool's golf go get polos. Get yourself swagged up. Get yourself swagged up. These are fire. These are fire, bro. This might be my everybody favorite loved shirt. them too. <laughs> everybody loved. I go. I'm gonna go play on Friday. I'm probably gonna wear this you bad have boy. To wear it. I'm gonna have to wear this one on Friday. But I'm, yeah. I'm glad we got matching ones too instead of two different ones. No, I was like, we have to match for we sure. Were standing out. It everywhere. was fire. It was. Yeah. That was so much fun. We had the freaking megaphone. Yeah, we had a big. My dad brought a big <laughs> megaphone, and it would just make noise. It they, was fun. We had, they actually told us to stop. Yeah. Doing the siren on. Yeah, because we were doing the siren on it. It was crazy. <laughs> It was yeah, so much fun, though. It was a blast. Um, Let's do another one in the fall. I'm ready. No, one a year. Fuck. That was too much. That was a lot of work. It was. It was stressed me. It stressed me out. Stressed me out. But I have everybody's email addresses and shit, so we can just send a big email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what was send I going to like Christmas. I'll send it out. No, at the beginning of the year, not Christmas. <laughs> but, yeah, no, we have, like, we already have, like, people who established who have been there. I think there might be a wait list next year, honestly. Ooh. I think we're going to fill it up completely. Good. Yeah. But yeah, everybody who played last played this year should definitely play again. Yeah, and then there was we had a bunch of friends 
who were just out of town who couldn't play this year. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. I think next year the homies will come in for yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. next one. Yeah, so I'm excited, bro. It was so much fun. I wish I could have played, but also there's no way we could have. Yeah, no. We no just, way. We just need to hop in on another tournament soon. Yeah, I'm have ready. You, have you ever played in a tournament? Yeah, I played in a few tournaments. Um, I usually play in like, I don't know, like two a year. Like two-ish a year. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You have to pay? Yeah, you have to pay. Same, it's the same setup as ours, but ours is way more fun. Ours was way more fun. Marty was DJing. Uh, the GM, Steven, came out. He's like, we should have this every, every Saturday. Just yeah. a DJ. Yeah, he liked That's it. That's sick. That would be dope. It was very cool. It was such a, I don't know, and it was the, a perfect day. That's yeah. what I was the most stressed about is the weather. Oh, really? Because the weather was kind of bad all week. It was. It was, like, gloomy and, like, yeah, cold, like windy yeah, and cold. Yeah, kind of cold. And I was like, crap, it's going to be a little, it's going to, like, be crappy. And I kept checking the weather, and I was like, nope, sunny and 70. It was sunny a perfect and 70, day. That, sunny and 70. That, that, no wind. Year yet. Yeah, no wind. It was a perfect day for golf. It hasn't been that perfect even yeah, since it, then. Yeah, it's been know. awesome. So It's getting hot. I'm yeah. sick of it. So shout out. Shout out the teams that showed up. Shout out the teams that won. We love all you guys. Oh, Marcus, Marcus's team, my brother's team, the one that threw the ball, they're pissed. They were tied for 21st. Oh, yeah, And yeah, it yeah, went yeah. down to a five-hole, like, playoff on their card, and the, the, they lost on the fifth hole. Or whoever did better on that. Yeah. On the fifth hole. Yeah. Was the one who won. Yeah, so. Damn. But it was fun. Um, let's get into today's episode. Sorry, I have to fucking burp. Let's fucking get into it. I'm going to tell you right now. You know, I was ready. I was ready to die <coughs> on uh, the no subtitles hill a few episodes back. Yeah, I know you're a few episodes back, like 80 episodes ago. Are you sure? Yeah, you've never been a fan. I've never been a fan. But after binge watching all of uh, Peaky, Blinders. Peaky fucking Blinders. You need it for that fucking oh, show. Oh, you need it for... You, you don't know what they're okay. talking about. <laughs> yeah, dude. You need it for Peaky Blinders, bro. I needed it bad. I didn't know what the hell they were saying. It just makes it better. It makes it way better. I think I have a note that said... I have a tweet. Oh, let me see if I can find that. Dude, so, okay. About I will talk, Subtitles. All right, guys. I'm sorry for the hate. Dang. You can't have it on, every, on everything, but... If you want to be locked in, you want to be locked in, and you, it helps you not miss anything. Yeah, if you want to be locked in, subtitles. Because there's a lot going on in that show that if, if you miss one little yeah. part, then you're like, "Fuck, I don't know what they're talking about." And they have the crazy, those thick ass accents. Accents, dude. Pain. It was a badass fucking show. Oh, you want to finish it? I finished yeah. it, dude. It was fucking good. I think they're gonna have a movie. Are they? After like Entourage. Like Entourage, yeah. I don't know where I heard that, but no. I don't I watched the Entourage movie actually recently. I need to, I need to rewatch it. After I binge watch all of Entourage again. I could rewatch all of Entourage quick. They're quick. They're quick. They're the, 30 minutes, yeah. bro. They're so fast. I have a draft tweet that said subtitles enhance the show slash movie experience and nobody on this earth could convince me. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. You're right. Oh, <laughs> we got to talk about that. Are these just falling out now? It just falls out. Let's hear that story. Okay. Well, I have a, if you haven't known by now, I have two fake teeth. Yeah. My lateral incisors, I never, they never grew in when I was young. So I got braces to make room for a, a retainer with two teeth on it. And this is like my fifth one so far in 15 years. And the tooth fell off of it yesterday at work. But it kind of fits in. It fits in unless I do like a hard F. Like a fuck. Oh, that'll fall out. <laughs> and it just fell out. And it just fell out a little bit. And then um, I did that at work. And then we went to FX last week. And it fucking fell out at the on in FX on the floor in a club. Ugh. So we were like this, like fucking looking for a tooth. What are you looking for? I was like fucking tooth. And then I found it. I was like, there it is. I just put it in my pocket. I'm not. They just rocked a no tooth for just what? No tooth. tooth. Yeah, I could probably do. I could be okay with no tooth. One tooth. One no tooth. But not both. But <laughs> not both. No. Yeah. So I don't know. It's gonna be a fucking bunch of money to get a new one, and I don't have enough bones. Bone where the, the teeth are missing to get implants, to screw in a fucking screw. Well, didn't you say your sister had, t like, extras? Oh, yeah, she had two of the same ones on top, and they'd have rip them out. No way. So the joke is, like, yeah, I left them in the womb. That's she a good joke. Great joke. Yeah, it's my mom. Damn. But, yeah, so I don't know, I might just get some dental, dental glue or something to fix it. That sucks, dude. I know. Um, so I can't eat with it in. I'm just gotta, it looks fine right when it's no, in. No, it right? looks fine, yeah. yeah so I, I couldn't, I, you really can't tell. It, it, only when I say certain things that are at a table, I was at a table the other day and it was just like, I was like, and I put it under my tongue. 
just what they were probably like, what the fuck? You threw it in your yeah. In your, <laughs> 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 in your lid. Yeah, I gotta get something figured out, dude. That's struggles. Oh, it's always something. Always something, huh? But what were we talking about? Oh, teeth. subtitles. Subtitles. But uh, yeah, I'm glad you're on the subtitle wagon. Yeah, wagon. I'm on the subtitle wagon. And you could watch it when it, you could turn the, the volume down and watch it. No, I need to hear everything. <laughs> I still, okay. I'll still blast at fifty. You'll blast in the yeah. middle of the night. At 50. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. Um, what else we got here? So why is? So what happened <laughs> with Bud Light? Oh, we're a little late to this. We've been busy. We're kind of late. Yeah, we're busy. But what happened to Bud Light? Well, Bud Light decided to, to make Dylan Mulvaney uh, the TikTok trans man or woman. I don't know what it is. Uh, TikTok star, just their new spokesperson for Bud Light. And they are now down 70% in sales. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking because the demographic that drinks Bud Light... It's is not, not down that, for, yeah. for Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> and also, it's not that they're trans. That person is just an insane person. Really? And I don't even know who it is. You should look up, look him or her. You should look them up, whatever the fuck they are on, on TikTok. And it's just, they're like a crazy person. They're like, okay. they're out of their fucking mind. I didn't know what was going on. I just saw like all these like jokes coming up about it. Oh, I guess the spokesperson, or not the spokesperson, but like the person who made the call to, to make him the, per- the spokesperson was like, it's like, yeah, we need to reach, like, we need to reach people other than, like, the frat bros or something. And they're like, but that's who drinks it. Yeah. And, like, most of middle America, like, middle class American dudes that drink Bud Light are, like, are like fuck Bud Light now, Yeah, they're, you know? like, Coors Lattes they now. Just, yeah, they, yeah, they, <laughs> they just, they just missed, missed the ball on that, but. So did you hear what happened to... The marketing girl who came up with all that shit? No. She got fired, right? What happened? Yeah, so she was canned. Really? Yeah, for, yeah. For, so for that's why she went on leave for a week or whatever. They were basically doing a review, and then the VP had come out, and basically she's been fired <laughs> from that position. They are, Nico's right, they are down way in, far in sales. They're trying a whole new marketing Right before campaign. fucking summer, too. Like, and yeah. I was, and as a bush will probably be fine. But like, They're going to be fine, but, but like, it's just like... Like down like seven bill? Yeah. Like the dude's like, all right, we don't need to this be... This wasn't that We smart. don't need to be yeah. that woke. <laughs> yeah. If we're, the money will t- always talk. Yeah. You guys can try to be as woke as you want, but if it hurts the bottom line, the CEOs are like, okay. It was a nice try, but we really missed the ball on that. That was stupid. How do they come back? They, just, they should just not say anything. Because if they, if they release... If they release a statement that like, oh, sorry, they that was our bad, anything. then they'll get even more oh, yeah, fucked, then by, the, get by, fucked the, by the other by side. The left. Yeah. yeah, so they should oh. just shut the fuck up and don't say. Just we ride it want, out, ride the yeah. wave. But also, did you see Kid Rock just fucking blow, blowing up uh, Bud Light? Really? Hey, you guys should look that up by looking. Yeah, I got that one. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Travis. <laughs> just bought a bunch of Bud Light and was just like. People were steamrolling cases of Bud Light. People were buying it to just not drink it. I don't know. I don't know how smart that move is, but yeah, you're still paying them. Yeah. It's like, like the equivalent like, oh, of burning a sports it. jersey. Huh? Hmm? It's like the equivalent of burning a sports yeah. jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. While we're yeah, like burning a Dak Prescott and wearing Tony Romo. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It was. I think it was a stupid call. Not. I've not. never burned a jersey, but I'll I'll unfollow a guy. On yeah. Social media. <laughs> I won't even unfollow him. I'll just mute him. I'll unfollow him. I'll I'll block him. Yeah, block. I think a block is. Way well, better. mute is mute is the most passive aggressive. Even if they don't follow you, just mute them so they never pop up on your feed. Yeah, I like that new for, for you tab on Twitter. I haven't seen it. Maybe I have. What I don't do you know. Mean? You've seen it. All right, oh, here yeah. comes Kid Rock. <laughs> Dumb ads. Sorry. One job, boys. One job back there. <laughs> You guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. Travis is it. all over the place today. Two guys. years, bro. Come on, man. Two years of this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. They just missed the ball on that one. All right, they let's try did. this again. They dropped the ball for sure. Well, as I like to say, anything the woke touches turns to shit. Heard it here first. And I will say that. Like a kid rock. Grandpa is feeling a little frisky today. Let me uh say something to all you and be as clear 
and concise as possible. Fuck Bud Light and fuck Anheuser Busch. Have a terrific day. <laughs> no way. Kid Rock, bro. Yeah, that guy's so dumb loaded, like so rich. Yeah. I guess um, Theo likes to hang out with him in uh, Nashville. Nashville? Oh, yeah. And he's got, like, they said the... he'll just show up to his Kid Rock ball <coughs> just like party. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just sing. That's where we stayed at um, We well, uh, for New Year's. We went into his bar. Was Four it... fucking stories, bro. Was it Pimp? It was Pimp. Yeah, I guess he had just the, like the, like a, if you gave like any hick like a billion dollars, that's what his house looks like. Like golden toilets and shit, and like oh yeah, like that's pimp. golden barns. Like it's it looks crazy. Cribs, MTV, MTV cribs. cribs, huh? Um, but yeah, not shout out Bud Light. That that I think that person's a crazy person. Whether he, he yeah. or she wants to be a day, I don't know. But yeah, they missed the ball. Missed the ball on that one. Right um, before summertime. Right before summertime. Guys, we're drinking Coors lattes <laughs> at the at the what is a Coors this year. latte? Coors Light. I think Coors is still Anheuser Busch. No. Couldn't, Make a little bowl trays. Couldn't tell you. I don't know. No, that's Miller Coors. They're they're uh, oh, that's together. Oh, different. All right, I'll drink yeah. Coors latte. Coors lattes. Coors Edge. Um, <laughs> <Not alcoholic. laughs> we're gonna get into some Nico's notes. Ooh, I have some good current events. Current events. Smiley face killers. Have you heard of the smiley face killer? No, I don't know what that is. So, if you guys just want to look it up, just in case, I might get some facts wrong. Um, the thing is, I think it's in Wisconsin, but they're finding a lot of twenty-five like mid 20s to 30 year old males just like drown drowned in a lake or in a river in the lake and they leave like a there's like a smiley face graffiti next to the bodies but it's but it's always like late at night and kid, there's no like there's no evidence of how they drowned no evidence or no evidence of like it, how they died like no there's no blunt force trauma or there's no drugs in their system they're just popping up dead like they drown and they're, it's all like it's all like like our age men, like leaving the bars, and it's. I guess they said it's like too much. It's too many. It's too many deaths in one place to be a coincidence. Well, there's. And so you think is it's this, a team of dudes. Is this the same one that's happening in Austin? Maybe. There's there's one in Austin, Texas, on uh, Rainy Street, and they're but they are they're like fucked up, and they're going. Uh, they're like leaving the bars, and then there's like a little river right there. Okay. And they're like getting killed and just thrown in the river. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. But it's weird because they don't know how they're, they're dying. Yeah. So it's either they're just getting hammered and there's this dude's just pushing them in because they're not like, they're not getting roofied or like, it could be a gay like sex ring thing that I'm thinking. But there's no evidence of that. I don't either. know what you're watching. <laughs> uh, it's a theory advanced by retired. It alleges that a number of young men found dead in bodies of water across several Midwestern American states from the late 90s to the 2010s. They did not accidentally drown, as concluded by law enforcement agencies, but were victims of serial killer or killer. So it's a theory right now. There's a movie. But there is a movie. There's out a movie fun. out on Prime. Forty-four percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Smiley Face Killer. You want to check it out? But but apparently it's like a team of people. It's not one guy. It's like a bunch of people. That's crazy. There is a movie. Have what you the watched fuck is uh, Smile? No, I have, I've been wanting to. Dude, it's creepy. It's, I've, that's what my. They said there's a second one coming out. The. Uh, the music I heard is like it's just beat. creepy, bro. Fuck, I need to watch. It's really creepy. It's good. Is it's it a it's good pretty scary good. Movie, it's like a, it's like a thriller. It's not really like jump scares. I think there might be like one jump scare in it. Is it supernatural vibes? Like, kind of. Ghost. Not really like supernatural, but it's kind of like on that. Like something it's something like, else going on. Yeah, it's like a, like a. I like what something else. Yeah, it's something else is going on <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Yeah, something else is definitely <laughs> going on. <laughs> yeah, dude. Something no, it's creepy. It's a, uh, it's like a. What is it called? What's the word I'm looking for? Um, Just describe. Like it happens to one person, and the only way that person could like, it it gets away with them is if they like kill theirself or kill someone. The only way that it gets off them. Yeah, oh. it's like a. I don't know. It's like dark magic. Dark magic. Yeah. It probably is dark. So it is like. Like spell, kind of, yeah. It's like a spell. Evil, yeah. Evil spell. All right, well, it's it, creepy as fuck, bro. Okay, I need to watch. You gotta watch it. I've been. I don't know. I want to watch them by myself, but like, and I don't. 
I don't know. Have you seen Super Mario Bros? No. I heard it's fantastic. My brother said it was so good. He said, I'll, I'll go watch it again. Let's go. I have passes. Like, like flicks. Usual. Let's go. No, not flicks. Okay, I'm down. Let's go Thursday. I'm in. Let's do it. Okay. We Super Mario. It. I heard it's really good. I, I don't know what the Bronx uh, There was a about. thing on Twitter. Um, someone sure. posted the entire movie. <laughs> Nine, it had nine million views. Oh my god! Of course. Yeah, someone had it on Twitter. The full movie. You can upload long shit on Twitter yeah, nine, now. Nine nine million views before it got taken down. Oh my god! So nine million people. It's all for fucking free. for fucking free. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, if you're paying for Twitter to be verified, you can post basically whatever you want. Really? You should probably do that. That's how you're able to upload. You should upload like, episodes on Twitter. We were trying to verify the show. Oh, on Instagram. On Instagram, yeah. It, but it, it didn't let us. I don't know why. Stupid, it bro. Says our, it says our profile picture doesn't match our, my ID. But yeah. it's not going Fucking to. Fucking Tesla guy. What's his name? Fucking Tesla. Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Elon Bust. Elon Bust. All right, bro. Nico's notes. <laughs> Look-alike couple homicide. Oh, okay. You're like into like the killings <laughs> right now, huh? I've I think there's it. one more in here. No, there's not. So this couple, this chick found her look-alike online. You guys can look this up as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she found her lookalike, and then her and her boyfriend killed that girl because this girl wanted to, like, fake her death. So they, like, met up with her, and then they murdered her, and then they, like, lit her car on fire, and then they tried to frame it as sh the girl, the murderer, faked her, don't, like, killed herself. So she just wanted into fresh, new life. So imagine, her and her boyfriend, I don't know how old they were, but imagine just, like, you find your like doppelganger, and then her and her boyfriend just wreck you. They said that there's like doppelgangers out there, and like if you walked by one in the street, you like wouldn't notice because that's not how you think you look. Yeah, but I think that's trash because I know exactly how I look. Yeah, I look at myself every day. <laughs> that's what I thought too. If I see my doppelganger, I would say, "What the fuck?" Yeah, you have one. I People send them to you all the time. <laughs> yeah, they're all <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all shapes and sizes. Mullet too. guys. Uh, even uh, Bernadette, Marcus and Nick's mom, she yeah. sent me one when there was a, he was singing at one of the bars in Nashville. She was just in Nashville <laughs> last week. And she's like, look, it's Nico. And it was just a, you rocking out. <laughs> Do you remember in, in, uh, in Nashville when we went for our birthdays two years ago? Dallas. Fuck, Dallas. We, Santi was just ripping them. Yeah, Santi. <laughs> there was a Santi the double dirty game. bourbon? Or Everybody was like, is that Santi? Just singing. Yeah. Just ripping it. Just a guitar ripping, looking so badass. So badass, huh? <laughs> Fuck. That was such it a fun like trip, it. bro. Yeah, we need to do another one. We need another trip ASAP. I'm so excited for Mexico. It's not even funny. You, and I just got my passport in, bro, to the... Cut it close. Cut it in real close. Down to the wire, dude. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared it wasn't going to come in, honestly. Um, all right. What else do we got? Harry Potter house. What house are you? Uh, no, we that'd take a while. I think we, we already did that one. Um, <laughs> east side versus west side Ooh. of New Mexico. Who would win in a war? In a war? Does that what no, but I'm just, I'm gonna give you a, a thing. Well, let's just first of all, which would you pick? I like the west side better than the east side. Always have. Yeah, same. I think the I think the West Side is probably has more like lunatics. It, 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 if it's in a war, I think the East Side might have more money though. East Side definitely does. Have and not if you count like Rio Rancho. Yeah, that's technically West. I think I would have to go West. I think I would do West. East Side does have more like people. You think restaurants? Restaurants aren't going <laughs> to help a war. Well, I mean, like in terms of just which one's cooler. Is that what we're talking about? I don't know what I was thinking. I did see like a picture though where they like they cut the United States oh, that's, that, right in half. I was that's look, what you were talking about. I was gonna look at that one. And it said war. The yeah, can you bring up a, uh, just the uh, just right the United USA States. USA East versus West. Well, so we, so we can see which states are. <laughs> yeah, because it's gonna be like I don't know, bro. Because the South, the people in the South are wild. They're crazy. I was like, let's talk about war East versus West of the United States. Because the people in the South are crazy. 27 reasons why the East Coast is better than the West Coast. Okay, not like to live. War. I'm Put on. war. War? I don't know. Oh, right here. This is what I, this is what I want. 
right there, right down the middle. Right down the fucking middle. So the so so we're on the west coast. Texas, we have California. Texas is a big one. Texas is is the one that'll help us the most. Montana? Fuck, I thought Montana was way over here. Big geography guy. Uh Okay, and then let's say and then we get Alaska. Do we get Alaska? And then we get Alaska and Hawaii. Okay. The uh, the East has Florida, New York. I don't know how much they're going to war though. To well, if fight, there's a war, if there is a war, I think the West wins. An army full of Florida men? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Dude, they eat people's faces off. <laughs> no, but they can get. They have guns and shit down there, right? Yeah, they have guns and shit. But Florida versus but Texas. But even the three, South, just like well, fuck, Georgia, California is Alabama, good, Mississippi. Fuck. Just rednecks. Bro. And it would be them versus like Texas because and New Mexico. Well, California would not help in the war. Yeah. They would be. They would be. They would suck. They'd be on TikTok freaking out. Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, Louisiana, Mississippi. Fuck yeah. And then New, New York, York's I not gonna do shit. You don't think New York could do? Shit? I think the mobsters. You can't though? have even. You can't even have Starbucks open over there, and still, I don't think. What do you mean? I don't know. They're big on the lockdowns. Florida, it's pretty much Florida versus Texas. Oh, look. Oh, if they give them, if they give them Texas, then we're fucked. That's how they have it split up. If they give them Texas, we're fucked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Texas is the only thing we have, or Montana, I guess. Why do you want Montana? So because of Yellowstone. They're, I don't think that's badass. a... Yeah, no. it's just, yellow, just Yellowstone. <laughs> They won't help. With the, the, the I don't know. Bro. Wildlife and the guns. I don't. I don't know. They can't ride that wildlife. If they give them Texas, if we could get Texas, oh, yeah, we matter. get Texas back. Then we. I think we have a chance. We have a chance. So where's the cutoff with Texas? Like midway through Oklahoma? Or? No. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have to the, just on, cut it through the through basically Texas, Oklahoma. Watch. Yeah, middle of Texas and Oklahoma, pretty much. Watch. Go back to the search, and I'll show you, and I'll show you which one it is. Because well, I don't this know. This one's different. This one's easier to tell. The, yeah, that one's that one is search, definitely. It's like a. They have Florida and Texas. They could probably just win everything. Yeah, that's together. A, yeah, California in a war would just fucking lose. It's not cool. It's cool to visit the beach. It's cool to go and visit, but it's See not a not, not in a war. I can't wait to go watch a Dodger game. Let's go back to California soon. San Diego. <laughs> Man, let's do it. I always hit up Troy. I'm like. It's like a colorful one. Watch well, if you if you can steal that one. Yeah, we're still fucked on that one. If you go to the uh, searches, I could pick, pick. I could pick which one it is if you pull up the searches on the screen. Um, I keep telling Troy if there's like if there's shows in, in San Diego. I'm like, I'm like, when was this and why the fuck did you go? He's like, well, Nicholas, it's because I now live in Scottsdale, Arizona. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, my bad. I didn't remember that. I didn't mean to say that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, back um, to Nico's notes. We'll get that up in a sec. Uh, target customer attacking worker gets wrecked. Current events. Current event. Um, all right, well, again, it's pretty much this. If you could pull up the video, target customer at Target attacks worker gets wrecked. No, so she she bought she bought a thousand dollars worth of shit. Couldn't pay for it all. And she was yelling at the coworkers. She's a black lady. She was like, you owe me this in reparations. So I don't have to pay for the rest of this. And it was getting in the worker's face. And then, she, and then the manager comes out, the guy manager. And he was like, we're not, we're not doing this, man. We need to leave. And he went back to his office to call somebody. And she followed him in there. And she corners him. And he turns around and knocks her out. Oh, shit. <laughs> but she was in the wrong, I guess, because he, he, he was feeling threatened. It was self-defense. Yeah. She was a big, look, look. <laughs> oh dang! He's like, "What?" He's like, I told, she was, I told you. I told her to stop. I told her to get back. <laughs> Watch. Oh <laughs> shit! That's I told crazy. You what was going to happen? That's yeah. insane. Well, she was being crazy, bro. You can't Th just be. Well, you can't just be wild in a Target. A thousand dollars at Target Say, is Walmart? a lot of shit. No, it's like five things. Walmart, they're just their employees fighting in the back like that. Yeah. That's why there's, <laughs> there's nobody at the cash registers. It's just all self-checkout now. It's Which terrible. is kind of crazy. It is crazy, right? Yeah. I, yeah. They're becoming obsolete. It's not a hard job to do. 
I don't know. Is it like... And they could pay... Yeah. Walmart's pretty corrupt. Is it cheaper for them? Just to make yeah. people do their own shit? Yeah, they hire one person to just watch the fucking... Yeah, instead of one machines. per thing, huh? Yeah, that makes Probably sense. Probably way cheaper. That does make sense. It's not cool, though. But, so what, uh, I usually don't, like, get, like, a basket full of shit anyways. I, I get, like, for the week. That's how I go to the store. Yeah. A week's worth. Sometimes when I go to Walmart... But still, I it's, like, really, $120 easy. Yeah. $1,000 worth of shit anywhere is a lot. Yeah. A thousand dollars is a lot of shit. She's like, I don't have the rest. You owe me the rest in, in uh, reparations. Is that the killers? Oh yeah, this was the that was the 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 hot one was the one that killed they killed. Damn. They don't even really look that much alike. No, not at all. Sorry, you guys can't see that. Maybe I'll put it in a post. Um, Damn. What else do we got in here? Adam Sandler versus Jim Carrey filmography. Oh, I was just. I Who are you on? You're like a more Jim Carrey guy, huh? Because you I'll don't do really Jim watch Carey. Adam Sandler movies? I just think Adam Sandler has made just so many movies. He has so many good movies, though. But he also has some bad ones. Now, of course, everyone has bad ones. Jim Carrey, I don't think, has a bad movie. But he, he's made less of them. But he's made less. But I think I laugh harder. Quality to, to, over to, quantity? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I think it, Jim Carrey's movies, will, I would laugh way harder than of some of Adam Sandler's funniest. I don't think you gave Adam Sandler's. I know a enough. Chance. I don't think so. I do. You haven't watched Big Daddy. I've watched you Big Daddy. You haven't watched uh, Billy Madison, classic. Happy Madison. Billy Happy, Gil- Madison. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore, probably haven't watched. Classic. I think that we need to put The only it one up. you've watched is The Waterboy. I've seen Waterboy, I've seen Click. Click is not even a good one either. It's so sad. It's so sad. Um, Uncut Gems. Stressful. Uncut Gems. Yeah, Uncut Gems had me stressed the fuck out, bro. It was just like, just doubling down. Just, bro, <laughs> I was so stressed out in that movie. It was the, the epitome of just gambling and a gambling addiction. Yeah. Just the next time, I'm going to hit it this time. Yeah, I'm going to hit it this time. We're gonna, uh, everybody's going to get paid. <sighs> that one sucks. was crazy, dude. It was crazy. But there's a, uh, I like 50 First Dates. 50 First Dates is a classic. I like... Rom-com. I love being a good rom com. I like the one where he's uh, doing like a heist with Jennifer Aniston. They go into a treasure hunt. Oh, like a murder mystery? Maybe. Did you watch Hoarding? Here's a, a Hooby Halloween. Yeah. That one wasn't that great. <laughs> I will say that. I think we should put it up here. Because what? Adam Sandler versus Jim Carrey. Tell us in the comments below. Yeah. I'm going James Carrey. James Carrey, huh? That's how good you know him? <laughs> I can yeah, you can call him James. <laughs> Jimothy Carey. Jim Carey, <laughs> Sonic. I forgot he was a Sonic guy. I haven't seen Sonic. No? Well, let's think. The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, Liar Liar, Ace Ventura, Ace Ventura 2, The Truman Show. Yeah, those the are The Cable Guy. Movies. The Cable Guy. He's even had some, like, like he's had some stupid. Er, Number 23. Did you watch that one? Yes. A series of unfortunate events. Me, me, you. Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty. Bruce Almighty was good. The fucking Grinch. The Mask. Me and myself. All the Ace Irene. Venturas. All the Aces. Oh, he was fucking the Riddler. Oh, and, and the old school one with yeah. uh, Michael Keaton, I think. That's a good one. That That's was the a, best Riddler. Okay, that was the best Riddler. I will say that. I think it is quality over quantity. Yeah, because he doesn't have a ton. All right, let me see fucking Adam Sandler real quick. Fun with Dick and Jane. Fun with Dick and Jane, he, he did kill that one, too. Yes, man. You see Yes, man, where he has to say yes to everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liar, liar. Oh, liar, dude, liar, liar, liar is one of the best. Billy Madison, Big Daddy, Waterboy. You're in Sandler. What about the Zohan? You like the Zohan? You is that me, Adam Sandler? Give me Zohan vibes. Me? Yeah. I thought that was Ben Stiller. No? No. Little Nicky. I'm thinking of Zoolander. Little Nicky's good. Little Nicky's devil. good. The Longest Yard. The Wedding Singer. Shit. Longest Yard and Wedding Singer. Is Wedding Singer with the Drew Barrymore? Anger Management. Oh, with Robert De Niro? No, with the... Uh, what's his name? Fuck, what's his name? Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. Fuck. There we go. Damn it. Um, Chuck and Larry. Fuck, I do like Chuck and Chuck Larry. and Larry's a good one. The Cobbler. I have never watched The Cobbler. It's, not good. it's probably not good. Um, I think it's a. T- I think it's tougher. It's tough because he has a lot airheads when he was young. 
That's a good movie. I didn't, I didn't see it. It's a good one. He's like super young in it. The Grown Ups weren't bad. Grown Ups weren't bad. I liked them. Well, and also think of this. Oh, Bulletproof. Bulletproof was a good one. I haven't seen it. That one is a good one. Think about this. He's actually, he's just made, he also like produces and is so much bigger. Yeah. Than Jim Carrey. So I think you got to do. But Jim Carrey's kind of off his rocker right now, huh? He is. He got, he got too crazy. I think he just like fucked the man, did yeah. a lot of drugs and became enlightened. But he's not making Ayahuasca. anything new. Yeah, he did too much ayahuasca. Yeah. But I think that's a good one to put up. Yeah, okay. Let We're going to put it. We'll put it in next week. Adam Sandler versus James. Adam James Sandler versus Carey. James. James Carey. Um, we also, we have the Jerky Fest this Saturday, we May 6th. Yes. This Saturday, be there or be square. Be square. I'm excited. It's going to be fun, bro. There's going to be so much shit going on. You guys heard it in last week's episode. Um, I still have tickets available. You guys could buy them straight through me. Ten bucks a popper. Might be more expensive at the door. Might we don't be know. more expensive at the door. Haven't heard anything about that. But you get a ten dollar free play. You get five dollars off your next bag of jerky from Lowrider Beef Jerky. Like it pays for itself. It does. And then you go over there and you're gonna listen to good music. There's gonna be a bunch of cool vendors. Have some good go food. Go get yourself some good jerky, some good food. Uh, after party at Triple Sevens with your boys. I'm excited, dude. Yeah. We have a room. We're sh- we got a room. Shout out Pops. Shout out Big Pops. We're going to do uh, like interviews and stuff over there? Yeah, interview. We're going to be interviewing vendors. Um, what else are we going to do? We're going to actually be like hosting. Like They're going to give us a mic during just walking around. And everybody's going to hear us talk. That's all we need. And that's all we need. <laughs> that's all we need. Is but I think we're at today, the end of today's episode, episode 98, <laughs> golf tournament episode. Golf tourney recap. Uh, let us know what you thought about the golf tournament. If you guys were there. Let us know how, how, how you thought it went, what you think we might what we should have next year. You think we could do better? Yeah, what we could do better. Um, again, we appreciate all the sponsors that helped us out with this. It was Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, again, shout out the Heart Gallery Foundation. Um, we hope that our check helps out somewhat with you guys, whatever, with the, the foster kids. Um, but other than that, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. Um, go like the previous episodes. Watch the previous episodes. But... We appreciate you guys so much. We're, showing, we're co- coming up to episode 100, sure. the century mark. But excited. Scary. I'm so excited. Let's Love do, you guys so much. Let's do Play th- the music. Thumb- <laughs>